Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the design and simulation of Colpitt's oscillator by using JFET. Okay, so so I will run the simulation and I will show how this Colpitt's oscillator works. What is the frequency for this Colpitt oscillator? And I will also explain how you can calculate the frequency of this culpit oscillator okay so the most important thing needs to be considered here is is that this circuit is designed by using jfit you can see here this is jfit so this circuit is not designed by using bjt this circuit is designed by using jfit that means junction field defect transistor right jfit so this is very interesting video today let's get started right so you can see here this is jfit 2n 5484 and you can see here i have connected r2 and then c3 the value of c1 and c2 is 500 picofarad the value of l1 is 100 micro henry and you can see the diode d1 is 4148 and here you can see the supply dc supply voltage for this jfit is 10 volt okay so uh, you can see here we have two cap c1 and c2 and one inductor that is that is why it is called colpitt's oscillator how we will calculate the frequency of this colpitt oscillator so this is very important to understand so to calculate the frequency of this culprit oscillator the first step is you need to find out the the equivalent capacitance c1 and c2 so this equivalent capacitance since these capacitor are connected in series so the equivalent capacitance ct is given by c1 multiplied by c2 divided by c1 and c2 once you get the equivalent capacitance ct and now you have the value of l1 you can easily calculate the frequency value which is given by f equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of l1 ct root of l1 ct okay so that is how you can do some math and you can find the the frequency value for this called pitts oscillator now i'm gonna run the simulation and i'll show you the the waveform of this how this culprit oscillator ramps up and what is the frequency of this culprit oscillator right so you can see here i run the simulation and i want to show you so so you can see initially the current flowing